Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about natural deodorants. So I know I've made a video about a year ago now on natural deodorants that I was testing at the time when I was transitioning to more natural deodorants and what was working for me at that time. We've moved on. There's a lot of new products that I've been trying out. I also believe that that video was shot in the winter time. So now that it's summertime and we're going through some heat waves. I feel like it's a good time to actually film it. I thought I had hair for a second, I had to check. <laughs> Before we go into the video, I'd ask if you can show me some love by liking the video down below and subscribing. I make videos every week. They come out every Sunday for 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I make videos on everything vegan, food allergies, lifestyle, and skincare. And if you'd like to see more of my day-to-day -day life, don't forget to follow me on Instagram under Myra Dairy Free. Here we go. So I've been really struggling with really good deodorants. Not just that actually work, but ones that don't leave my underarm like it's got a rug burn and it could be really irritating. Not only that, it looks awful, it starts to go brown, and then after all of that, it starts to peel. So you can't shave your underarms because your skin is all irritated and you're just left with a sad, rough, flaky armpit. All right, so I have a little, not a little, it's a pretty big basket, but it's not entirely full. The first one was my favorite for so many months is the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla. I had tried the Key Lime, I tried that one and it was really good, but after like a month, it started to give me the rug burn. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just that one. Maybe it's the lime. I don't know. So I really like the brand because it does last all day. So I ended up getting the Rose Vanilla. Can you see? Can you see? So this is vegan, cruelty-free, and it's amazing. I really, really liked it. I love the smell of it, which I'm not really a rose girl. Vanilla, sure, but not rose. But again, after a few weeks or a month, it started to give me a really bad rash, like a rug burn. And not only does it look ugly, but it actually starts to really irritate and it hurts a little bit. So I kind of let this go for a bit. And then when I was shopping online, what is it? Well.ca. I ended up finding this one, Lavami, and this is the citrus one. The one thing I didn't like about it, it smells really good, is that you have to dig your finger in there, you know, and then wash your hands, and sometimes, you know, you just want to go. But again, after a while, it started to give me a really bad rash. So in between all of this, I kept using Gabriel's. Like I would go use his Everyman Jack deodorant. This is the Cedarwood one. Again, it's all vegan and cruelty free. It's really good. It's long lasting, but it leaves your underarm really wet. I feel like I always had to kind of pull down on my shirts so that it wouldn't leak and then make it look like I had sweaty underarms. So that was in between these two when I needed my underarms to be calm and soothe the poor soreness. Then Gabriel ended up getting this Green Beaver Company, which is a Canadian company. This is the Tea Tree Natural deodorant. It was good, it was long lasting. Again, it made my underarm really wet. So then after using that, I went back to my old one, which I talked about on the previous natural deodorant video. This is from The Honest Company. It is really long lasting. So one, I don't like that it makes my underarm feel sticky. And two, there's just a smell. It's a good smell, but then I feel like it's a mix of not B.O., but there's a body odor. Does that make any sense? It's like a good smell mixed with a body smell, but it's not B.O. I, I can't be the only one. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't look at me like I'm the crazy one. Seriously, I feel like the only thing that is long lasting and that works really well and that I always have is, one second, my coconut oil. I use coconut oil every time I come out of the shower. I use it like a lotion. I use it for my hair. Since my underarm's been so irritated, I've just been using that. And sometimes I get a little worried that I'm gonna go out, it's super hot outside. And what if a little BO starts to sneak out? So I've been using the eucalyptus oil. This one is from Aroma Force. So I'll put the coconut oil, I'll put like a few drops of that, go like this and rub it under my arms. And so far, I find that it's the best one. It lasts the longest. It soothes my underarm. 
it's super easy for me to use because I'm already using it on the rest of my body when I come out of the shower. The only thing is that it starts to leave like an oil residue on your shirts. I'll have to say that my go-to so far is this. And when I'm gonna step outside and I don't want the coconut oil to leak all over my shirt, then I will use the Honest Company one. And although it's sticky, it really does work. So we were out with friends a few weeks ago and we were talking about some of the deodorants that leave the rug burn under your arm. And my friend actually mentioned that it's probably the baking soda in it. And that's what he've noticed. And I went back to all my deodorants and the ones that cause the rash all have baking soda. And then the ones that don't are the ones that leave your underarm sticky and wet. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that because if you're going through the same thing, keep an eye on the baking soda. It could most definitely, I feel like I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's the baking soda. I haven't been able to find one. I really wanted to film this video after I found a really good one. If any of you have any recommendations on things that you have found that are not sticky, not wet, and don't leave a rash under your arm, that would be great. Please, please, please let me know. I really hope that this video helped you guys out and I'll see you at the next one.